Hello YouTube, this is another uh, QAZWSX2541 Blender tutorial. This is the uh, 2.59 uh, version of how to make a menu in Blender. So uh, first we're going to just open up Blender here. Uh, this is uh, Blender 2.59 as you can see there. Um, okay. So the uh, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to set up this scene for the menu. So we're going to start by deleting the cube and the lamp. Uh, we can keep the camera there unless if you want to add one in later. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, add a mesh and it's going to be a plane. Scale it just a little bit here. Switch to the top view. You can do this by pressing 7 on the number pad. And then hit Control Alt 0 to move the camera to your viewing angle. Select the camera, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, object data buttons here, or the camera, and we're going to switch it from perspective to orthographic. I think that's pronounced right. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to scale this plane to kind of um, just fit inside, or just go just beyond the edges there of that uh, little box on the, or the dashed lines on the camera. So next thing we're going to do is open a image editor. So this could be paint.net, uh, Windows Paint program, or GIMP, it doesn't really uh, matter. But uh, here we're basically going to make a, this is basically a, a background for the game. So you can do something like, um, uh, you can do kind of like a title here. Now if you want this uh, text to be able to fly in or have some sort of an animation intro, you're not going to want to do that. Um, we're not going to want to put this on the uh, background. This is basically if you want like a uh, solid background, like a, uh, well, I don't know. That. Um, so basically then what we're going to do is we're going to do um, uh, save as. And we're going to find a folder that we can remember. I have a folder here for my tutorials and I already have a background. So basically you save it in a place that you um, can remember where it is. After that we can actually exit the image editor. And then um, well, back in Blender we need to switch to textured mode. So this little circle here, the shading options, we're going to switch that to textured. Now what we're going to need to do is split the area here. The, the Up here in the corner you can just uh, click and drag and that splits the area there. This new area we're going to change this to a uh, UV image editor. And then we're going to um, click on image, open image. And then we're going to go and find our uh, background file. I put it on the desktop so I'm going to go to my uh, desktop and there's the file and I'm gonna hit open image and you can see there's the background image so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit, enter edit mode with the plane selected by pressing tab and then we can hit um, U and from there we can do project from view and now we can kinda scale this just to kind of fit the, just to kind of get the right scale, scale it in the uh, image editor. You can also grab it, move it around to get the right position and stuff. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, add a add text. So go to the add menu and hit add text. Now what we're gonna do is just rotate around and just kind of drag this up on the uh, z axis just a little bit. Uh, just so it is uh, above the plane. Uh, one thing I r really strongly suggest is not using the uh, stock blender uh, text because uh, it's kind of obvious when you do and it kind of uh, shows some uncreativity I guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, over here in the uh, font buttons down here under font we're going to click on load we're just going to go to Windows 
or wherever you keep your fonts, Windows fonts, and I have one uh, picked out, it's called Perfect Dark. Okay, so then you can scale the text, uh, and just kind of move it to where you, move it to where you want it. Then we're going to um, enter edit mode, and then I'm going to type in uh, story, but basically what you're going to do is type in the uh, uh, menu option that you want there. So now I'm going to add a new material to this by going to the material buttons, clicking new, and then I'm going to go, and I'm just, uh, just to get it to match the uh, background color we've, or that uh, other text color we've got there. Okay. Make sure it's good. Okay. So I'm just, yeah. So now what we need to do is we're going to need to add a, add another plane. And this one here, I'm going to drag up just a little bit above our background plane and make sure it's below the story plane or the text. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab it. We're just going to kind of scale it right just so it just match it or um, just outlines the story text okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select both of these we're gonna hit shift D move it on down here selects the new text oops and we're gonna type in our second uh, option here so this may you may put in like a uh, options or something like that, or multiplayer, I don't know. And scale it to where you think the size is about right. Then we can take the second plane that we have added now and just kind of scale that to outline the uh, options. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing again uh, duplicate, move it down, uh, select the text. In this one, I'm going to type in uh, exit. Okay, and I'm just going to move this one over to the center and then scale this one in like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select Story. We're going to hit Alternate C. Then we're going to select Mesh from Curve. So, And do that with the rest of them. So do it with Options and with Exit. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select or select Story. Select the plane behind it and hit Control P. And do the same with the others with the uh, options we're going to select options select the plane behind it and hit control p and with exit select the plane behind exit or shift select the plane behind it and hit control p so now whenever you scale the plane the um, word should be scaled too now select the uh, story button go into the physics button physics buttons um, oh, you need to go up here to the top in Blender Render, switch it to Blender Game if you already haven't. We're going to select Physics Type, No Collision, and do that with the other text items. And then with the planes, these here are going to need to have Actor turned on and Invisible. So Actor, Invisible, and with the last one, Actor and Invisible. Okay, so now we're going to get down to the logic bricks for these. So the, um, the this is basically a mouse over type of a menu thing. So what we're going to do is with the plane selected, we're going to add um, two mouse sensors. One will be a left button, and with the left button we'll turn it on tab. The other will be a mouse over. Okay, so we can actually minimize those to save space. Then we're going to add a AND controller, a NOT AND controller, and another AND controller. The first AND controller should have uh, the mouse over. The NOT AND controller should also have the mouse over in it. Well, actually, I guess all three of them, all three of the controllers will have the mouse over on. And then just the last one will have the mouse left button on it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add two F-curve actuators here. And those will wire into the first two actuators like that. And the first one will have a start frame of 1 and an end frame of 2. The second one will have a start frame of 2 and an end frame of 1. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is make sure that we're on keyframe 1 here, and we're going to hit I, or um, select all of the background planes, all three background planes. We're going to hit I, scaling. Then we're going to switch to keyframe 2, select the background uh, planes, or one of them at a time, and just scale it up a little bit. Uh, it doesn't need to be doesn't need to be really extreme. Then select all of the uh, background boxes again. Uh, I'm having a tough time doing that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do these one at a time. So what we'll do is we'll do I scaling, and I'm gonna select the second one now. I scaling. I scaling. So now whenever you switch between keyframe number one and frame number two, they should get a little bit bigger or smaller. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select each of the planes. Uh, right, starting with the exit one, select all the way up to story, story being the last one. time with this here. Okay, then we're going to go into the object buttons here. We're going to go down to uh, game and copy logic bricks. So then we only had to program one and now they're all programmed the same. Now um, on all of these the uh, controller with the uh, left button and mouse over button, in case you haven't guessed yet, um, the output of this here would be if you would uh, is the result of the player clicking on that selection uh, in this case here the only one that would actually do anything uh, right now would be the exit one so we can add an actuator this one here would be a game actuator and this one would be quick game okay now uh, this is all well and good but it's not going to really help if whenever we play the game the player can't see the mouse. So what we're going to do now is switch f um, this window from the UV image editor window to the text editor window. We're going to add a new text and call this um, show mouse. Okay, and then in the first line here we're just going to put in uh, import rasterizer enter and then we're going to type in uh, rasterizer uh, dot uh, rasterizer dot uh, show mouse now a uh, mouse there you'll notice there's no space between show and mouse and uh, the M is capitalized open parenthesis the number one close parenthesis. So, um, and then so, uh, over here in the game window, select the uh, camera, add a always sensor, and add a Python controller. And this Python controller will just run the script show mouse. So now, whenever we play, you can see the mouse, you can go up and down and you'll notice it looks pretty nice. Um, gets bigger whenever you move the mouse over it and smaller whenever you move it over. And then of course the exit just uh, exits the game. Okay, well uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Hey, uh, uh, do me a favor, go ahead and check out the Facebook page for Power Surge Games. Me and a friend are working on a uh, uh, game and you can, or there's a link to our Facebook page uh, down below and there's a link to our game on the uh, Facebook page. I'll also put a link to our game in the description box. Uh, right now it's just in beta testing but uh, yeah. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, huge shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you very much. I think we're nearing a hundred. I don't know. Or maybe we've already gone over. Anyway. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, keep on blending.